the sum of all values of x that satisfy this equation is, so this equation is basically x squared minus 5x plus 5 to the power of x squared plus 4x minus 60 equals 1. All right, so how do you approach this? So we got x squared minus 5x plus 5, and then the exponent is x squared plus 4x minus 60, and this is equal to 1. So is there anything that we can do to simplify this? Well, if this is equal to, say, a, and this is equal to b, this will look like this. a to the b is equal to 1. And how do you get a result of 1 when you have a as the base and b as the exponent? Well, there's a few possibilities. Possibility 1 is if a is 1. If a is 1, doesn't matter what b is, this will be true. It will be 1 to the power of b, and that's always going to be equal to 1. So that's our first possible scenario. Another possible scenario is if b is equal to 0. That would make it a to the power of 0, and anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Okay? And then our third possibility, and this is the one most students miss, is if a is equal to negative 1, and, this is important, b is even. So, for example, it would be negative 1 to, let's say, if b, let's say, is 2, negative 1 squared, and that is, of course, equal to 1. So we have three scenarios that we have to individually calculate. So let's start with the first one, which is this one right here. a is equal to 1. So this is a right here. So we have to set that equal to 1. x squared minus 5x plus 5 is equal to 1. All right, here we go. So we got x squared minus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. Can we factor this? I think so. x, x, 4, 1, minus, minus. There we go. So x is equal to 4, and x is equal to 1. All right? So these are the values of x for which we make a equal to 1. So we've got two solutions so far. Now our next scenario is when b equals 0. All right, what is b? Well, this is b right here. So we want to set x squared plus 4x minus 60 to 0. All right, let's do that down here. x squared plus 4x minus 60 is equal to 0. So can we factor this? I think maybe x and x, 10 and 6, and plus minus. So that means x is equal to negative 10 and 6. So we've got two more solutions. Now we got our final possibility, which is a is negative 1 and b is even. All right, what's a? x squared minus 5x plus 5. So x squared minus 5x plus 5 is equal to negative 1. And b is even. x squared plus 4x minus 60 is even. So we got x squared minus 5x plus 5 is equal to negative 1 x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So this factors to x, x, 3, 2, and minus, minus, like that. So x is equal to 2 or 3. All right, but we have to also meet this condition, and 
both have to be true. So let's start with x equals 2 and see if this is even or not. So if x is 2, we have 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 60. And this is 4 plus 8 minus 60, which is 12 minus 60, which is minus 48. And that is indeed an even number. It doesn't matter that it's negative. Even is good enough. So x equals 2 is another solution. And then finally, let's see x equals 3, what it does. If x equals 3, does this become even or not? So we will get x squared, which is 9, plus 4 times 3, which is 12, minus 60. So this is 19 minus 60. 9 plus 12 minus 60 minus 39, which is an odd number. So x equals 3 is not a solution. All right. So let's go back and circle all our solutions. We have these two, 4 and 1. We had these two. And we had one final one, x equals 2. So what are they asking for in the question? The sum of all values of x that satisfy that. So we have to add up these x's. All right. So we have 4, 1, 2, minus 10, and 6. And that will equal 3. So the sum is 3, and therefore the answer is 24 is B.